Now. You're listening to Twonkhammer Entertainment's The Band Hammer Podcast. This episode of The Band Hammer is being recorded on Mother's Day, May 12th, 2013. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Band Hammer. I am your host, Sam, and joining me today, we got a bunch of other idiots rolling around. Uh, let's start out with idiot number one, Carl. What's up? What? One. What's up? This is the Band Hammer. My name is Sam. I am in charge. Sam oh, Money, Big Daddy Money. You are Carl, not Sam. No, it's Sam Money. And Deal with that. Mr. Big Pants Dan. What's up, Big Pants Dan? Not much. Just hanging out, as per Put usual. Big pants on. Get it? He's I do. Hanging out. He's hanging out of his big pants. Such a dick. And uh, <laughs> JJ, what's up, JJ? Cause every Mother's Day needs a Mother's Night. If doing it is wrong, I don't want to be right. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll okay. be your mother lover, so be my mother lover. And, uh... <laughs> and Road, what's up, Road? Hey, 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 I resemble that comment. That you're, that you're a Road? You resemble a Road? That he likes stuff. Mother lover? Lover? That he's a mother lover. I'm gonna yeah. drive all over you. Oh, and that's when things yeah. got weird. Oh wow, awkward silence. Weird all the time. Nonsense. Like yeah, that. He, he's a lot like a road. Flat, boring, and full of potholes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, unless of course we're talking about my story, in which case it's full of plot holes. Uh, <sighs> all right. If you want to Sorry. learn more information about us and our podcast that we do on our sites, uh, check us out www.twoncamera.com. Check out our social sites. Twitter.com slash Twonkhammer, Facebook.com slash Twonkhammer, YouTube.com slash Twonkhammer, ENT. Rate, hate, subscribe on iTunes and Stitcher. And for the love of God, we love when you people go do that. So go do it. Thank you. Appreciate it. And also, don't forget, you can check us out on Twitch now, twitch.tv slash Twonkhammer. We record uh, the Band Hammer live on Sundays. Usually it's between sometime between 12 and 12.30, but I uh, had some... Uh, equipment so, issues, I guess you so, could say, this morning. Yeah, some brownout issues. Kaboom! Some brownout Kaboom, issues. Yeah, some brownout issues. Um, but it's good. It's good. Beast is back online, although it's going to need some upgrading. So, uh, gentlemen, what have you uh, been playing this week? I'm going to start with JJ. What have you been playing? I JJ? have been playing the the Foundry in Neverwinter Nights. Or Neverwinter, excuse me. I've just been making a bunch of campaigns and maps. That's it. You've been making them, or you've been playing other people's stuff? I've been making them. I've been working on them. Learning how to do it and how to make them and do all that stuff. Kind of the different features they have. Cool. Cool. Uh, Roy, what have you been playing? Uh, a little bit of tour. Not nearly as much as usual. Let's see. Battlefield 3. We played some Star Wars Empire War last night. Uh, Ragnarok Online 2 has been the focus of my last three or four days. So. <laughs> <laughs> That is my you new are an game. Attic. You are an addict. That game is MMO crack. What right. is it? <laughs> Ragnar oh, RO2? Yes. Is it actually good? I'm I've been playing it for four days almost. I, I played the original. Focus. I played the original far more than I care to admit. And... God, you and me both, buddy. You and me both. Holy crap. And uh, that... that game, it's not nearly as hardcore as Ragnarok one, but you can definitely compare the two pretty damn easily. I've been right, well, thinking let about. Put, let me just let me just put this out there. So if you two have a uh, opposite of what you enjoy in MMOs, though, mm -hmm. so if Road is saying it's good, then JJ most likely you will hate it. That's not true because what I hate in most modern MMOs was not was what I loved in the first Ragnarok Online. I have no idea what it was about the original Ragnarok Online that made me so addicted to it. But they, yeah, it was grindy and all that stuff like that, but it just, the formula fit. And I don't, right. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. It just fit well. Um, yeah, I've been thinking about picking up uh, RO2 uh, here soon. I played the first one, so I want to see what this one's like. No, Dan, take your big boy pants off. No. No, I'm not allowed to speak now. Stop being a dick, man. God. <laughs> like, 
I don't know what what is it with you. It's another one of these episodes. Yeah, possibly. We'll see. So, God, man. Yeah, we'll, we'll see who who becomes the object of, of my rage. We're gonna, this, we're this gonna, episode. We'll be like you know, Aliens, Colonial Marines was a great game. Dan's like, no, it wasn't. It just sucked. <laughs> I don't know who's saying that this game is amazing. You suck, God. Uh, like, Carl, what have you? Uh, what have you been playing this week? Um, everything but tour. Sure. <laughs> um, I know we played. We tried playing tour during the week, and then uh, we got bored real quick. Dan, I think it was like what ten minutes. Yeah, something like, uh, like that. Yeah, That's fifteen like, minutes maybe. maybe. Like ten minutes, twenty minutes. Yeah. Uh, Battlefield Three. Um, we played a little bit of uh, Empire at War last night, which is surprisingly. Hysterical, crashing in the middle of that, having multiple brownouts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to mention any names. Like, We're going to win! Well, oh my god, here comes the start! Uh, never mind, connection lost. Alright, doesn't matter. And I've been playing Assassin's Creed Brotherhood just to pass time. Because there's nothing really out there I want to play. So that's pretty much I'd it. Too. Um, I'd rather play SimCity. <laughs> If you'd rather play SimCity. Uh, SimCity has like a lot of cool stuff added to it, but uh, hey, we're not alone here anymore. We have uh, we have someone else. Oh, it's my British cousin over there. How you doing? No, what do you mean? he's not talking to us. Does he really oh. love the penis? Shit, Tom's here. I was just waiting for the introduction. This <laughs> film. Yeah. Hey everybody, Tom's here. Tom's back. Hello. Hooray! Applause. Hey, button. applause button. Insert here. We'll do it during that. End. <laughs> Tom's back. Thank you. Thank you very much. You Ladies and gentlemen, so we're joined by Hugh Laurie. How are you doing there, Hugh? I'm not too bad, thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> my 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 leg hurts a bit, but you know. Leg hurts. <laughs> yeah, How do you feel about the cancellation of House? I feel um, well. It was about time, to be it's honest. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I mean, we we had a good few load of seasons and all, but. I think it's time that uh, we ended it on a high, you know. Yeah, yeah. and how's how's that <laughs> Olivia yeah. Olivia Wild chick, that hot chick from uh, from Tron? How do you? Oh, uh, you, you, yes. you know, I never kiss and tell. You yeah, know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a gentleman. Yes, yeah. so good job. <laughs> wow. And let, we'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. More of interview with Hugh Laurie. Back to the band hammer. <laughs> uh, Dan, what the hell have you been playing this week? <laughs> <laughs> I've actually. Uh, moved to the uh, what, the mobile space for a little bit. I I, I uh, played an adaptation of uh, Elder Signs. It's called Elder Sign Omens. It's it's kind of it's a real good adaptation of of the uh, board game Elder Sign. Um, kind I of, thought for I thought for a minute it was a JRPG, and I was going to no, 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 no. About this emo a, teens in high school who fight with no. cards that turn into monsters. You're going to get his fucking. You're going to get his oh, big boy pants. <laughs> Birds chirping in the background for Dan. I'm trying not to laugh. <laughs> funny as hell. Well, I'm sorry. I'm playing a Zen game and Dan's in a very Zen space. <laughs> no, recording from his Zen garden. <laughs> Elder Signs is, is is a very kind of deep strategy game that takes place in in the the Cthulhu mythos. Oh, oh, hell, Cthulhu. So oh, it's it's kind of it's very terror centered, and it's it's quite strategy. Uh, you're basically trying to save the universe, kind of trying to uh, make sure that save the these... Daniverse. Yes, save the Daniverse, if you will. Um, but I've also been uh, I've also gone back and played some Torchlight Two, which I'm thoroughly enjoying now that I've added some some mods to it. Cool, cool. Awesome. Yeah, hey, uh, Tom. Tom, what are you been Hello. Playing? Um, I've been playing a number of games, the usual plethora of games that I play, but I've uh, been enjoying Neverwinter. Uh, that's been a uh, quite enjoyable experience, surprisingly. I wasn't actually expecting to enjoy it, but yeah, it's, uh, nice. it's a good have game. You, have you purchased anything in-game? No, no. No, I don't have any... Um, that's the one thing that's kind of seems... Everything just seems so expensive in that Zen, whatever the hell it's called. And But in all fairness to it, I haven't really bothered looking to buy anything in it, so no. But I'm going to... The second I need to buy something to do, to have to, to have fun, that's probably when I'll stop. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, yeah. 
Can I just say that I have missed the smooth, dulcet tones of Tom? Oh, thank you, JJ. <laughs> I think everybody so, has. I I feel like I could just crawl into my bed right now, wrap around my blankets, and he could just like serenade me to sleep and I'd be like, ah. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh yeah. Well, thank you very he, much. He, he could be he could be talking about like horrific stuff, like like a van of puppies that caught on fire and went off a cliff, and I'd still be like, that's soothing. <laughs> Tom, Tom, tell us about the van of puppies that went off the cliff. Um. <laughs> Okay. Um, well, there was uh, uh, not too long ago, you know, about half hour ago, a, a van of puppies unfortunately kind of careened off a lift, off a lift, off a cliff, um, and they tried to rescue them, but the authority said, "Well, they couldn't be bothered," so they just <laughs> nuked so them. Like, um, so it's so messed up. <laughs> so, I don't know so, why, yeah. but I, that's like my favorite quote from Dom. Yeah, they just couldn't be bothered. Oh god. Um, however, uh, however, this this story does have a nice end. In the zomb- okay. they, they come back as zombie puppies and they kill everyone. Uh, he just... <laughs> it's, it's not Resident Evil right now, man. It's not Resident <laughs> Evil. Uh, oh my god. All right. So, yeah. so what have you been playing there, Sam? Uh, well, is Tom Dunn, is that all you've been playing as Neverwinter? Oh, you know, the usual football manager, tour, FIFA, oh. Somebody, Somebody go check Tom's hours on football manager. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, this doing it now. football manager update. Fo- football manager updates. One you, should, you should have like a Twitter, like a weekly post on Twitter detailing your hourly. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> that Raptor nonsense or whatever the hell that is. That it, is it doesn't is total all of them. Freaking f- spammed up by uh, Sam. Sam. I know, Sam. I was like, ooh, Sam finally posted something. Oh, no, it's just his rap. Oh, wow. Let me, like let me guess. At this time, Sam is playing Battlefield 3. Oh, <laughs> good. <Little> shop there. <laughs> okay. Really? 320 hours in Football Manager. That's 2013, right? Yes, that's 2013. I'm I sorry. still got a old way to go. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're, way off, you're way off from the other ones, Tom. But, I mean, still got about half a year left. I'm sorry, yeah, Dan, how many, so. how many hours did you say it was total in, for the 13? 320. 320, wow. And he had 700 I mean, He had 700 in 2012. 2012. No, that's 2011. No, 11. In 2012, I had 568. It's going down. I know, Just I gotta like get it. The amount of players playing certain games. Do you, do you, do you, are you aware, Tom, that you have played just over two months straight of football manager games combined? Like, if you just added all that time together? No, I haven't, I'm afraid. I, but now that you've mentioned it, I'm kind <laughs> of... Like, oh, great. Yeah, yeah. You, you, <laughs> however, however, I will say this. It's still nothing compared to most people's World of Warcraft yeah, games. No. Yeah, this is, this is true. It's like one and a half years, and like that's the actual play time. You're like, yeah. oh, shit. Yeah. One and a half years? What the fuck? What the fuck? That was me, like, back in uh, Burning Jesus Crusade. Jesus Christ. I, you guys are retarded, man. I just slash play, it's like a day. That's it. Like, what? Yeah, okay. that's, that's, supposed yeah. to be, that's supposed to be good for you. Not fucking, like, a year and a half. What the? Jesus Christ. God. There is no real life, Carl. God damn. Dude, Dude real, life, real, life, real life doesn't have a queue that I can, I can sign up for. I know. There are no is spawn points in RL. Or is this, this is bullshit. fantasy? Kid, I... I will. I'll, I will say one thing about real life. The graphics are fucking amazing. You can see all the way to the story. Clip. Sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little Mike, repetitive. Same shit. Yeah, over. Just, just yeah, a bit. God. But hey, Sam just rolled a new character, so <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's trying a new quest line. Yeah. Yeah. Fatherhood. He's only, he's only got. Uh, <laughs> he's only got twelve. Twelve XP though. He's got. Yeah, he, he prestige. He prestiged into the father class. Yeah, they he got two Pokemon together and they made an egg. Awesome. Uh, he pushed down and B at the right time. <laughs> <laughs> Even though that was a fucking never working. Anyway. Uh, All like, right, so I've been I've been tearing engaged. up some I've been tearing up some Battlefield three this week and uh Has your boy been watching you? Know? you? No, he's uh, he's doing a lot of sleeping upstairs. Um I've been like loading up all my old games and like oh, I'm gonna sit down and play this and I'll play for like ten minutes like I really don't want to play this. <laughs> yeah, like it's the way I feel for everything now. I'm gonna play Ooh. Diablo three. Uh, never mind. Let's let's play Frozen Throne. Uh, forget it. 
Battlefield 3? Yeah, all right, Battlefield 3. That's what we'll play. All right, all right. That's the only yeah. game that's been the constant. And, but for all- the thing is, is like you can still have fun for two, two or three hours in Battlefield 3 for some reason. Yeah, I, I, I don't know why we can't do that with, you know. Anything else? Anything else? Yeah, because we all got uh, Star Wars Empire at War, loaded that up, and we played for a couple hours. And then that was it. it. God damn. That's what it is. That's what gaming's going on. Games uh, just don't have the appeal anymore. They really don't. No, they, they have plenty of appeal. appeal. It's just or longevity, uh, maybe. Maybe longevity is the, the word. Maybe we've become burnt out with the motorcycle mm. in the background. So. No, yeah. I don't think I'm burnt out. I just haven't really found anything that like, caught my attention. I think I might want to play an MMO now. I think I'm back to that. I've made that full circle where like I thought I was done with MMOs for a while, but now I think I'm back full circle and I want to play an MMO. And I actually want to play something I've never actually played before, which is a healer. So Yeah. Um, I want to I want to play an MMO too, but it has to we have to last longer than like all right, we're going to only play up to like level 20 and then that's it because that's what happened when we were playing Guild Wars. Guild Wars was, "Oh my god, we're so intense. This game is going to be amazing." And we played for a week and it was the funniest thing I've ever seen because Deadman hits like cap in like two days, and then everyone else is still like level twenty, and like, oh well, well, we're just gonna stop playing. Yeah. So I don't know. It's the same thing that happened to tour though. Everybody got like way, you know, I was moving at that time, so everybody was able to get way ahead of me, and it was just like by the time I got caught up, you guys were all like, ah, right, okay, we, we did uh, this. This was boring. But but tour. By the time we got into tour, we were actually doing stuff in tour. It wasn't like we got halfway through and then we're forget it, we're not going to play. Like, we got towards the end, and even you got a chance to play some of the games towards the end. I mean, I know for a fact everyone here, with the exception of Dan, got towards Endgame and played Endgame. Yeah. But we haven't had another game for us to feel the same thing of I, honestly, wanting us to get towards the end and play Endgame. Honestly, I want, I want nothing more than Tour to just all of a sudden be awesome and then go back and play it. That's what I want. But well, we know that you're getting Cathar in a couple of days, so well, I that's not. Oh my God, I'm all, it's awesome. It, it does. It yeah, just it's doesn't not work that way. Other than like the little guild that Rode and I made up of uh, Dibs, Team Rocket, um, Meowth. That's it. The Cathar. <laughs> or have a Chris name, you know, Jesse, you know, James, or and then a freaking Red Twi'lek. There we go. That's the whole team. Done. Over and done. I'm proud. Of you. I'm proud. I was dying laughing. I don't care. Get a juggernaut with one of those face masks on, call him wheezing. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go all bug road in uh, Ragnarok Online 2. Yeah. No, you're pushing it now. Uh, see, I, I don't know. I, I I thought about it like last night when Ro was talking about it. I was like, mm, maybe I'll jump in. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. Like I said, maybe I'll go back into MMOs. Need something. Fix it. Um... Anyway, all right, let's uh, let's move on right on into the stuff. We got a lot going on this week. I think our main topic for this week somewhere is going to be uh, obviously EA getting all the licensing for LucasArts, uh, well, future Star Wars games, I guess you could say, and then we'll we'll discuss uh, what's going on with those games and what we think might be coming out. Well, what we're hoping to see, and hopefully we'll have some people in here in the chat that we can get some. Uh, people, but I, I think since it's Mother's Day, we don't have a lot of people here today, which is okay. It's understandable, um, and we got a little bit. We got started a little late, so uh, let's move right on into it. Uh, Defiance gets another season. End game content follows. They're not even done season one yet, right? On the show, it, it's uh, not done airing yet. No, but okay. Uh, yeah, they they got the news like right in the middle of their season. Like, oh, uh, they didn't picked up for a second one, and apparently the game content's gonna continue with that as well. Right. So, hooray! I, I I think that's good. I mean, Defiance is actually one of the games I've been considering going to pick up. Um, some people say yeah. it's it's good. Some people don't like it. It it really, I guess, it's one of those games that depends on your your tastes. I'd rather I'd rather ha- like get like a five-day trial and try it out first. And, and the crossover aspect of it is is kind of what 
what draws a majority of people to it, just because they can affect the the show in some small way. Yeah. Um, uh, Road, take it away on the next one, there, big guy. I was trying to find the article for you. Fine. All right. I guess I can do this. Sega Sorry, Sammy posts. Yes. So I was just going to say, can I just say that how impressed I've been with the Defiance? Has anyone actually watched it? The uh, I have not. I've seen yeah. like maybe one episode, and I still didn't know what the hell was going on. I knew I, some of the, I knew some of the actors, but I was like, I'm kind of lost. So. I am quite pleasantly surprised at the series. It is pretty good. As am I. See, so, yeah. What do you think? Like, does that does that remind you of anything? Because everybody has yeah. been talking about. I've seen like one episode, and everybody says that it's like it every can't... single sci-fi series. It re no, it it basically reminds me of a sci-fi western, and everyone's go-to sci-fi western is Firefly, and it's... in some sort, it yeah. does kind of remind me of that. Not in the actual, you know, setting, but more of the fact that it's the future, but it seems quite primitive at the same time. If you get what I mean, because they yeah. they they they, it's basically. I think it was like the end of the world. So some aliens came, terraformed the planet, and that basically just all governments off. And now there's just like one alliance that's there, but Defiance is separate from that. And they're trying to make ends meet. And it, it's quite interesting. I mean, I'm not entirely sure of the overall thing because they're slowly. You know, I don't think anyone knows like what the it. overall plot is. Yet. Like, I thought, yeah. like, reading about it, I thought it was like aliens and humans, they went to war with one, one, one another, and then. They, yeah, they wound did. up getting a, a pseudo peace, but yeah. they wound up agreeing that the world was they they both needed to live on planet Earth. But now the aliens are so and so forth. I'm like, this is just too much. Just make it into a fucking ninety minute movie and just be done. <laughs> I'd rather just yeah, sit there. And you're watch the movie that. guy. You're not the show guy. I like a developed like, story. I mean, I um I I like development all through the course, but it's like. I don't want to sit down season through season through season. I want to sit down and watch it all in one shot because that's like Battlestar yeah, Galactic. Sat down. Because that's oh, yeah. I like sitting well, down season through season through season. But I, I finished reading Game of Thrones, the book, so oh, I, I was I was fine with that. And But like Battlestar Galactic, I was like, oh, my God, this is amazing. Uh, I'll wait for everything to be done and just watch it all in one shot. That's what a lot of people do, though. I, I yeah. do that... Um... I like save up two or three episodes of Walking Dead, so that way I'm, I'm not like, oh god, what's going to happen on the next episode? <laughs> oh my god, yeah, it's like you know I did that with Breaking Bad. I watched four seasons in one week. It was amazing. I'm like, oh, I'm hooked. This is a good show, but I can't do it with Defiance. So eventually, when it comes out on Netflix or something like that, and I'll watch it then, and then I'll agree with everyone else, but not with Firefly. <laughs> Firefly was awesome. Firefly was I awesome. I just in the dick with you, you did. Thank you fucking did. God. You, well, you know everybody needs a punch in the dick once in a while. Nathan Fillion's gonna show up in your front door and punch you in the dick. It's okay. I'll just tell him how good he was in uh, with the Doctor Evil that freaking Neil Patrick Harris movie, that that web episode thing. Oh, you yeah, yeah. I'll tell him he was good in that. And then Captain <laughs> Captain Horrible's awesome sing along or awful sing along or whatever. Yeah, that that nonsense. So there you go. All right. All right. Sega Sammy posts uh, fiscal net profits. <laughs> Oil Marine ship 1.3. Oh, that was perfect, Rick. Good job. Sounds like you were actually. And that, was not, that, was, that, was, that was that was that was actually me moving the kitty food bag. There you go. Well, it worked. Good job. Oh, it worked out. It worked nice out. Placement. I just I folded up the paper, threw it over my shoulder, and continued on. Like, what are we doing here? I don't even know. <laughs> Colonial Marines ship 1.3 million copies. Those would have been 1.3 million disappointed people. Uh, <laughs> or as you I put it, 300 disappointed fans that them. want their money back. Yes, exactly. Right, Tom? Right. <laughs> Tom says it was passable. <laughs> Sega uh, trolls 1.3 right. million. <laughs> but yeah, I would agree with Rode uh, and Carl and everyone that, yeah, 1.3, those are 1.3 pissed off customers, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, they kind of screwed us over. Oh, uh, Sega pulls biggest April Fools by yeah. selling yeah. the game to one point three million. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, what? What? Honestly, what did we expect, though? It, not because of the publisher or because I expected the developer, a good game. but because yeah, of I say, I did too. well, 
because it was an Aliens game. And, and the I game was... The Aliens the game, game was good. That game was on the shelf for, like, at least two years, three years. Like, in development, or even longer, and it's like... Mm-hmm. What the fuck is going on? Where? What were you guys doing? I know, I know. It, the Duke Nukem game, I know. Yeah, That's, actually, right. Aunt, Aunt Sega getting getting sued by. Yeah, the, oh yeah, there's, yeah there's a class action lawsuit because yeah. it was a misrepresentation of false advertising, like it's stuff. Week, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, that was. Yeah, last that week. was. A, we yeah. Talked about it already. Oh, I think. Right, good. I'm pretty sure we talked about it last episode. If not, well, then there we go. We got to mention for it. Anyway, uh, TimeGate Studios reportedly laid off his entire staff after uh, it filed for what was it, bankruptcy protection last week. Did you just jump over two articles? He, he did. Uh, no, he I did. moved it back to where it should be. Oh. So you can refresh. You there you go. <laughs> see, these are linked, and that's it's what we call It's got to link. be linked, see? Oh, yeah. See? There you go. Well, so, then, next time you're supposed to, you know, when we do right. the notes, put them all together so that way we don't have to do worry about this. Got it. Anyway. Let's work together. I added other things and yeah. Gotcha. All right. Uh, no, moving on. Go ahead. Sony posts 458 million fiscal 2012 net profit forecast 5 million portable sales in fiscal 2013. It, uh, it, which is better than the loss of 456 million from the previous year. Huh? Huh? Well then Sony. Yeah. Yeah. So, so they made they made last year's money back pretty much. Exactly. Good job. Still in the so, whole, so, they're, so they're just about breaking even. Maybe. Yep. Maybe. Which, you know, after all the uh, thousands of layoffs and restructuring that they've done, maybe that shows that EA can pull their heads out of their asses with their restructuring and actually start, well, no, they're already making profits, so that doesn't work. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Sony's got Spider-Man, ama- amazing Spider-Man money. They can throw <laughs> that at the problem. <laughs> hey, as long as the next couple of movies are awesome, I don't give a shit who has it. Uh. Oh, God. The next one's going to be with Rhino. I can't believe it. Hey, wrong podcast. Sorry. Yep. Wrong podcast. Talk later. Sa- save that for recording later. I said, like I said, wrong podcast. <laughs> 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 Listen to uh, next week's episode of What's That Movie? What that next movie? week's episode of What That Movie? All right. <laughs> See, I told you we should have named it What That Movie. Exactly. Yeah. That's what, what that they call movie? it every episode. That, yeah, that's what we call it. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> and Pete. <laughs> All right, back to the band hammer, folks. So let's sit down. Pull your books out. Start making notes. Here we go. Yes, sir. Activision right. warns of next gen uncertainty. Uh, uncertainty. Wow. But post better than expected financials. Not talking about how they lost 1.3 more million people from Wow, down to 8 million subscribers and blah blah blah. Death of Wow. It's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying they're losing people. Losing well, more. how many? How many did they lose? Another 1.3 million. Jeez. Yeah, so so they're they're to so, yeah, eight million I, right. Yeah, they're only on eight million subscribers, so they could be. They'll yeah, be only eight million. Soon, yeah. It's it. Yeah. You, it's it's still better. It's still better than almost every other oh, MMO yeah. out there. Period. So any CEO out there would kill the firstborn to get those type of right, subscribers. Get those kind of sub- subscription numbers. You know, eight million yeah. at fifteen dollars a pop is a not including the game itself. It's a lot of money still rolling in, and essentially, WoW is going to go gracefully into the night when whatever. It, it literally will go gracefully. It, it will. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. Because like the way they've been doing this, it's like at the peak was twelve million, and they're slowly just. Going down, 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 yeah. down, down, and yet still bringing in uh, what is that? 120 million dollars a month. That's you know, ridiculous. It's it's, it's it's nuts. And so the to only, still play a game that's like what ten, seven years old, nine, nine years old. It's another thing that's just going to go. Eight, eight the the old. the only way WoW is ever going to completely perish is when they release wow. Titan. WoW two. Yeah, WoW t- two or Titan, whatever it's going to be. I don't think. I don't even think Titan's going to take it away. I think it's going to have to be WoW 2. If they if they go with a WoW 2. They, well, they have to come out with a Warcraft 4, wouldn't they? No, if they come out, let's be honest. If they come out with a Warcraft 4, that would be amazing. Yeah. That would sell like this no Warcraft tomorrow. 4 and then there'd be a mini game of Dota 3 inside uh WoW. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And then and then we could play the world of whatever Warcraft 4. Or world of Dota. I would honestly, oh, I would Dota. not be surprised if Blizzard are already not developing, but in the very, very early stages of World of Warcraft 2. I would not be surprised. Yeah, I would probably play. 
I was going to be on the I, I would. Four engine. Even without seeing anything, <laughs> I probably would play World of Warcraft 2. Doesn't matter. Because I had such fun with World of Warcraft. Uh, I, I probably oh, yeah. would I th- too. I think everybody would, uh, would yeah. know that. So it, think of how much like money. They brought it make. out and it was just as hard as World of oh, Warcraft yeah. vanilla was. Oh, oh yeah, my God. God I, good. Oh. I would love God. that. Oh. Six months of my life uh. wasted. <laughs> <laughs> right, Say goodbye, like, full time job. It, oh my god, that's like essentially that I'm sitting here saying it's like ten levels a month. I'd, I'd have to get a, I'd have to get a rubber, a rubber boob. God, yeah. boob. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I got my shit bucket. <laughs> uh, oh man, that's well called poop. It's well called poop socking. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Mason yeah. Jarvis. I'll, I'll make sure I get a stand up desk and a uh, treadmill for that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's going to be. It's going to be all VO or all, um, it's going to be all VO and all virtual reality. Yeah. You know what? I don't care because the they're, they're, Sam, Sam, why would you get a treadmill? Is that where you just put all your dirty dishes when you're done with them? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's just well, gonna have like a whole line of them. Set one down on top. Hit the uh, hit the power button. It'll turn all of them on and just go all the way upstairs to the kitchen. Wow, with Google Glass. <laughs> <laughs> Walking through uh, the park, and you just see some kid out there swinging his arm around. Get the over, fuck out of the over. fire and get more dots on the damn thing. <laughs> That'd be Th- cool. Is that guy homeless? No, that. he's playing WoW. He's playing WoW. <laughs> hey, at least he's outside. Exactly. <laughs> Damn, Claire! Someone turn the sun down. <laughs> you gotta what am I in a changing M- movie? Yeah. Fuck. Hey, Every from what I understand, the people, bottle the people, of uh, sun uh, sun protection. The the people who have uh, you know have the Google Glass say they love it so far. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, and then I the people who don't have it say so. it's gonna be a fad. I predict that chiropractors and masseuses are going to be into high demand after Google Glass goes viral because everyone will be having stiff necks from looking up all the time. Yeah. Going back. Going back. Going back. Look mm-hmm. up. Look up. <laughs> what? All right. That's, you, that's you, you get like a phone call and you're like, fuck, not this fucking guy. <laughs> like, sending text to Jason, not this fucking guy. Like, God damn it, Google Glass, that's stop shit. it. Text message sent. It's like, what the fuck, Google Glass? God. Uh, what are you, running on a freaking Apple OS? Shit. Right, exactly. Boom, boom, but don't <laughs> And Apple actually bringing out a new OS, you know, for the iPhone, for the next generation. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? Who Whenever they Apparent, Apparently, the... there's rumors that they're going to take the Windows kind of, you know, like how they do the grid kind of thing. What? How the Windows phones are, and they're going to incorporate that into an Apple thing. That should... That's what I've heard. <laughs> no one cares. It's Apple. No one cares. Damn. Shit, no one cares because Dan said so. Damn it. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, sorry. We were, laugh- we were laughing and we were having some fun. Dan had to come in and stop that. <laughs> Thanks, no Dan. One cares. No, one's gonna, no one can have any fun. He's like the, <laughs> Dan, he, Dan is the Eeyore of I was camper. just going <laughs> to <laughs> I'll just I'll just go play Nino Cooney. Doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> Never gonna be able to live this one down. That's why he likes <laughs> JR- that's why he likes JRPGs because the main characters are always so depressed. It's Danor. <laughs> Danor. <laughs> D- no, no, it's oh, Dior. Bother. Dior. Yeah, he's Dior. Dior. <laughs> Oh, bother. It's my name. Just <laughs> wait the poo, motherfucker. Get your fucking shit straight. Uh, no, uh, no, that's... That's, that's Eeyore. He does, that's like, Eeyore. No, he doesn't say, oh, bother. That's Winnie the Pooh. Yes, so, he does. does. Uh, oh, oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. The fight no, no, actually, I'm with JJ on this one. It is Winnie the Pooh that says, oh, bother. Uh, we're, I'm totally with him on this one. All right, I'm staying uh, clear. I'm, uh, well, you guys are googling that crap. I'm not I getting into the nerd. There's actually a, there's actually a Yahoo questions about it that says, "Does Eeyore ever say oh bother?" Someone says there's a video out there where someone else is doing the voice of Eeyore but saying it, but actually in the show it's Winnie the Pooh's catchphrase, not Eeyore. This episode should be entitled "Tangent." That's as simple as this is. Uh, TESO cast this week is Road Goes Insane, 
and Tor or, uh, Run Van Hammer this week is Road Tries to Do the Show Notes. It's okay. Yes. All right. Here we go. John Carpenter wants to make a cool. Dead Space movie. He'll suck. I think his time has passed. Shouldn't stick. He shouldn't do it. If this was like the 80s and we were watching The Thing, definitely, but that's about it. I think he can do it. I, think I mean, yeah, it. he could, but... I John think he Carpenter can hasn't made a good horror movie in like, a long should he? time. Like, that's well, here's his chance there, all right? He's got to do wait something minute, before wait, he wait, dies. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Here's my thing, here's my thing. John Carpenter hasn't made a good horror movie in a very, very long time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it like that, because yeah. when what, what was like, like what Carl just said, his last like good 80s or good horror movie was back in the 80s. He's using way too much uh, like CGI. CGI and everything to do the movies now. And it's not CGI, especially in the fact that we know it's CGI, is no longer scary. Yeah. You just go, oh, that's a really nicely computer-generated thing, don't you? Yeah. You go, oh, exactly. wow, that looks really cool. It's the same thing with why a lot of us were upset about the, st you know, Star Wars 1, 2, and episodes 1, 2, and 3. Yeah. Because it was too much CGI when, you know, all of the old Star Wars, everything you saw were, you know, they were models. No, 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 they, no. no. You know? Well, yeah, one, two, and three, like they're they're freaking dancing around. Like they're bits of the prequels that we could pick out and say we like. But yes, the whole acting up on green screen and you can't tell he's talking to you know this imaginary six foot cutout is just garbage. But the reason why he wants to make it is because he himself is like he's likes video games himself and like he's been doing like storyline consulted for Fear Three. So it's like okay, well, figure and then my my point is figure out how to do it without so much fucking green screen. Yeah, but that's not that's not the way they're gonna wind up doing it. I, I, I suppose you gotta understand back. that Hollywood has yeah, changed like the Holly, technology. The way Hollywood's gonna go, it's yeah. like if they were to do They Live, they they would do They Live 3D. Like that's could the only. If, but here's my point. Here's my. Could you imagine if Gremlins was done? In, with CGI instead of using oh puppets. fucking god it would, it'd be flubber it, it would be awful <laughs> it would suck <laughs> people need to stop and like like directors and stuff and people making the movies I understand it may take longer but they need to stop and realize like that that golden opportunity is now gone yeah to make that to make that movie and, you know now it would just the only way to really do it was be to do it as like a CGI movie, you know, like a uh, Final Fantasy Spirit Within or, you know, whatever the That's Final bad. Fantasy movies go, and then just use good voice acting instead of live action because there's no yeah. way you're going to make it that scary. Yeah, any computer game movie adaptation, I just instantly just cry out. I yeah. just, they just don't do it. And I think it's because everyone not well not everyone but a lot of people have their own personal experience and their own relationship with the game and because it's so personal there's no way a film can reflect that to that person you know and it just you, you're always disappointed that's the way i've seen it from games to movies you're always disappointed yeah no matter what it is, and it's the same yeah. way movies to games too Ex yeah. yeah well yeah, yeah. what what you it know is. what movie what movie Video game has been successful. Can you class oh. Battle for Middle Earth a movie to thingy game? Yeah. Same. No, no, because that's actually it's book. It's a uh, no. book. No, it's based it's on the movie. But then movie, movie to video then movie to video game. It's a lot of people. They're either okay with it or kind of crappy. Right. Well, no, I'm just gonna say no. There's not many. Yeah. Not many. So. But we're, we're, we'll talk like strictly video game to movie. The last hope is going to be Assassin's Creed, and even no, that's going to suck. Like, I know it's going to suck. The same way, like the Halo, like the Halo ones, they do. They're like the only thing that's great is about the Halo one is like it's ninety second. It's a minute commercial. It looks great because you're not picking out the flaws because they're trying to sell you the game, and that's it. Yep. Yeah. There you go. All right, road. All right, Mike Diva's live action Far Cry Three Blood Dragon trailer. Um, if you haven't seen this, it's a you know fan made product by some YouTube personality. He uh, made a movie for the well the DLC Far Cry Three Blood Dragon. 
Uh, the only way I can really explain this is flying robot shark with laser beams and a guy riding it with a chain gun. I can explain it better. 80s beams. sci-fi movie. That's I like robot. Like a bad I like flying movie. robot. Shark it, it's Blade Runner, and you know <laughs> it's the DLC is actually really fun to play. <laughs> Terminator, really Running Man. Hey, JJ, did they have the uh, did they have the co op on the DLC? I don't know. Well, what the fuck do you played it? I didn't say I played it. <laughs> I said it's really fun. Like I've watched all the Let's Plays on it. I don't. I have watched. I've watched other people shit. play the game, and I thought it was. I was amazing. playing it vicariously okay. through okay. other people. It has. It has Tyrannosaurus Cyborg Tyrannosaurus Rex that shoots a fucking laser beam that will insta kill you. You that that sentence needs a period because you don't need to go any more further. Why that game? Is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that should be an instant buy right there. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep. Yep. That's all that. That's all that, that trailer could have been. It's just a big fucking like a guy walking up to a cyborg T Rex, a laser shooting out of his mouth, and then you dying and saying buy this game, and then that's it. <laughs> and then explosions, gratuitous explosions following that all for right. no apparent reason, just out of everything. Since we're all happy now, Dan, you can bring us down now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like Far Cry anyway. It's just a first person shooter. <laughs> Who cares about dinosaurs? Hey, JJ Wait. just said it for me. No, 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 no. See, th th this is a little di bit different. Far Cry 3 is actually Skyrim with guns. Yeah, I will agree. I will agree. So I there just, you go. Yeah. Now you can't say you don't like it because... No, but I, I think... It doesn't, have it doesn't like guns! It doesn't have magic. <laughs> Th this particular awesome. expansion, if you want to call it that, just throws the game completely out of whack. Right. For me. Well, that was the point. It's intentional. I'm sure it's intentional, but it it won't cause me to buy the the expansion because of that. Damn. If I had the game, do you not like it because it doesn't have turn-based combat? Is, oh is God! <laughs> he, he doesn't like it because there's not some. Here we tiny, go. There's not some tiny like six-year-old with pink hair and cat ear. Goes, <laughs> oh the good you can take away, and fucking follows him around with a. You're, you're asking for, you're asking me to put on my big boy pants there, <laughs> JJ. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm antagonizing you. Does he have to uh, take the iron out there, JJ? <laughs> <laughs> Let's right. just not forget here that in order to make all these references to Japanese culture, you have to be pretty involved in the actual Japanese culture to know those. Oh yeah, for sure. I ain't gonna deny that I've watched anime and play those kind of games. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> we just bust Dan Chops because that's what it seems like. He, that's all he plays. Yeah. Yep. And that's perfectly all right with me. <laughs> hey, it's perfectly <laughs> true. <laughs> it is. It's perfectly true. I take it all with stride. Uh, and in your big boy pants. Like, Dan, All right. let's play some, uh, Dan, let's play some Saints Row 3. Do you have any cat ears in it? <laughs> they actually do. They actually do. They do. <laughs> All right, I'll play. <laughs> do they have swords? Well, they've got a bat. <laughs> they got a bat. It's and they funny. got a giant rubber dildo. <laughs> <laughs> that is the bat. Uh, yeah. All right. Battle of the Three and Battle Log DDoS attacks continue. Upcoming double EXP event postponed. Assholes fucking yep. with my Battlefield 3. These, that is why? These DDoSes are uh, Sam's hit list now. I mean, the, yeah, it... the, they, they've entered. They've entered it. <laughs> like, you know, I just tried it. Like, when you got a kid, you got very little time to get down at the computer and play some games. So when I actually get to sit down and play some games and I'm playing Battlefield, I want to play some Battlefield. Not get dicked around by some D-bags doing some DDoS attacks. And there's no way to stop a DDoS attack, because all it is is pinging the server over and over again, pretty much. Yeah. And mass. I'm yeah, a hacker. Mass. No, you're a script kitty that fucking paid $5 <laughs> on a website that does it for you. I'm a script yeah. kitty. <laughs> no, we're uh, going to get hacked. Yeah. God, that's fine. I'm not, uh, I'm not hating on hackers to because me. you know what? I, I I understand why some people, why like some some like DDoS attacks are done. Like it, it makes sense, but it's come on, guys. I mean, it's Battlefield, really. Do this EA. That's all they need. Oh my God, just, I, just do it someplace useful. God, Call of Duty. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> they probably got bored of doing it over there. Or, or, like, the, right, the, or actually, actually, they're the type of people that play Call of Duty. 
Or a yeah. tour. Fuck. God damn it. We don't have enough people You leave my tour alone. You leave my tour alone. <laughs> this forced game matching is it's loading too slow. There's oh, not enough people. Rhodes getting attacked. What we need Rhodes to do is we need to go over, we need to go over the EA. DDoS. DDoS. <laughs> Actually, Tor doesn't need a DDoS. They already got attacked by a man named Georg Zweller. Ha! Oh. 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 I fucking throw the gauntlets down. You went there. Oh, my. Uh, shit. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. No, EA won't license gun license guns in its 2013 games, but it never has. All what right, do you mean, so it never has road. Okay, me. so earlier this week, hey, the sir. original story that I was going to pick up for this. Am I here? Am I clear? Am I? Yeah, you're here. here. You're good. Clear. Awesome. All right, so uh, earlier this, what I was originally going to use for this story was the there was a. The original story was that EA was going to stop licensing gun rights from games like Colt or Barrett or you know any of these other ma major gun manufacturers. Uh, the original story said that they had originally, up until this point, been licensing to use the names and use the models and use the guns in all their video games. And that in order to stop funding these uh, big gun manufacturers, they weren't going to pay the royalties on it because, you know, books don't use it when they mention, like, a Colt revolver. They don't have to pay royalties, so why the hell should they? Well, as uh, I read this story, apparently EA never has. And that the people who wrote these original stories had somehow misinterpreted or used it for their own means. EA never originally did pay for these uh, rights to use these names, titles, and models. And, uh, well, I guess it's fun that they're saying that they're not going to ever. So, there you go. <laughs> Got it. Moving on. Moving on. Avalanche Studios wants, uh, or was in negotiations for a quote-unquote massive Star Wars open-world game. For those that don't know, Avalanche Studios is behind games such as Just Cause 2, which involves gratuitous amounts of explosions, violence, and grappling hooks. Lots of graphics. Is it strange that I just got aroused all of a sudden? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. the idea what of to, what am I supposed to be doing with this half chubby on a Sunday? Afternoon? Come on! Now. Uh, Sorry, I can't, I can't you play this game with a huge boner. Yeah. <laughs> uh, never stop me. Uh, wait, <laughs> never mind. Oh, I didn't say that. No comment. So, uh, <laughs> so just the the idea, just fostering the idea that there ever could have been a Star Wars game like the Just Cause, uh, like Just Cause Two. That's amazing. Unfortunately, don't look for it. Access did not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. got their mitts on it. Well, Dude, could you imagine if they made it just like Just Cause 2? You could like purposely get like a bunch of freaking be Ewoks a together and run a car <laughs> into them. Yeah. A speeder. A speeder. Ewok, you have cars, Ewok bowling. Speeders. Ewok bowling? Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, but they anyway. Did, yeah, they yeah. did say it was going to be like a, 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 it's going to be a rough Thing, like more like Gears of War meets Star Wars meets Just Cause 2. But here's the oh. Seriously, okay, that half has now been upgraded to a full on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Before we go any further, JJ, it's never going to happen. There's your cold shower. Oh. God. Eh, yeah. I, fapped, I fapped to less, so I mean, I'm never gonna have sex in the rest of my life. It doesn't stop me from whipping it out and checking out. Uh, <laughs> oh my! Oh. Shot collars oh. gone right. Oh god! god. <laughs> so the big news of the week: EA gets exclusive rights to all Star Wars games. Yeah. Period. Oh. Yeah. Well, one and done. So, uh, EA, or DICE, Visceral, and Bioware getting all the Star Wars games. KOTOR 3, finally make it happen and not the abortion you did before. Well, yes. Uh, I would have <laughs> no, to. No, I'm sorry. They already made KOTOR hey, uh, 3. No, no, no. And I have to, and I have to, eight, dude, I have seven. to laugh. I'm sorry. I have to laugh. I remember when, uh, David. Uh, David Bass tweeted, he's like, ooh, EA's got the, or the, for Bioware's got the thing for Star Wars, I hope they make KOTOR 3, and Sam fucking calls him out and goes, whatever happened to SOTOR being four, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, <laughs> fucking right on Twitter. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yep. exactly. Yep. I like, died oh. laughing. I was like, oh, <laughs> snap. Throwing down the fucking gun. Uh, I, didn't a, I didn't get a reply to that, by the way. I know. <laughs> but he got massive retweets, though. Well, because I think, yeah, he got a ton of retweets, and I just, I think it was because, like, uh, 
he knew. <laughs> he just knows. He's like, oh yeah. He, knows I, he got me. He I got do, me. I do want a Kotor three. All right. I but do as well. everybody wants a Kotor three. We, we all want a Even real. If they don't. They Kotor. Could, they could go back and like hit some of the other uh, the other stories that became before Kotor. I mean, that would be awesome. Well, huh? here's. Proper. Here's the idea that I had, because I, as anyone should know, I'm a massive Bioware fan, and of course I'm also the alone here that, well, no, wait, Tom's still I plays. used to be. But I anyway, so uh, yeah. what if they handed over the next Star Wars game like KOTOR 3 to Bioware Edmonton, or Bioware Montreal? The and other people Edmonton's who are behind. the one that made KOTOR. Yeah. The, well, what I'm saying is okay. what they handed over for like the people who are doing the Dragon Age team. If they yeah. give the new or star new Kotor tile to the Dragon Age team, yeah, that, and make it like be, the uh, new Dragon Age, that would be fine no, because no. isn't like because Dragon I mean, Age fucks games up the Dragon Age team. Well, the Dragon uh, like the Dragon yeah, Age what are you game, on about? like the first one, I felt as if that was like Kotor because like the whole oh, war and yeah. nonsense. Like I'm like, all right, that this is fucking Kotor. Why don't you just make that? Why don't you yeah, make give me fucking Star Wars drag? I want Star Wars. I want Star Wars stuff, and Wars yet, drag. like. I, I liked Dragon it's, Age. It's not gonna. It's not gonna come to fruition. Dragon Age is good, from what I understand. Second, I the second one. Enjoy it. The first one was Kotor, good. Kotor was good, and uh, from what I understand, it, the second one sucked balls. And it's not no. just like I. I don't take it like, you know, one or two people said that. I take it as a lot of people said it. A lot of people hated Dragon dumbed down and made it extremely easy. Just right, like and they've already said that they, they admitted that they admitted they made that mistake. And that they were not going to make that mistake again for Dragon Age Three. Are you watching and, porn again while we're yeah. recording? That's the same. <laughs> no, I'm not. But if well, they took internet. it, but they took it in the sense of like what happened for Mass Effect, because like the big game before was it was Mass Effect after Kotor. Well, not after Kotor. It was like uh, after their anyway. It was Mass Effect. And Mass Effect was big. It was RTS mixed with a shooter. You had all these aspects. And if it was very difficult, and then when they came out with the second one, they dumbed it down, and a lot more people liked the second one than they do the first one. And the, the third one had one. the worst ending And the third ever. one was just the same, more of the same thing, but it was just bullshit. But yet, when we see... we They tried to do the same thing with Dragon Age. One was great. Two, they tried to dumb it down and make it a little bit easier, and people hated it. And yet... What's that mean if they're gonna make Kotor four three? Eh, who knows? Like, I don't want to. I don't want to see. I want a good Kotor game. I know I'm never gonna get it, but this is just. I really don't think we're gonna wind up getting, um, old IPs that we already have. I think we're gonna wind up getting new stuff that coincide closer to the movies, the new ones that are gonna come out. Cause I, like maybe the quick fix is gonna be, like for Dice. Instead of them alternating uh, Medal of Honor, they're going to alternate a Star Wars Battlefront game. Well, it, it might not necessarily be a KOTOR 3, but it could be KOTOR-esque. It may right. not be how, KOTOR in how, title. How awesome would this be? A Jedi Knight game from the Jedi Knight series. We want to get in it. In the Frostbite 3. Oh my god. Mass Effect RPG. Like kind of. all the, yes. like all the oh. stuff you're saying is, is just, it's nerdgasmic. But it's never going to happen. How do you okay, know? Okay, hold on. How there's do you no, know? Because they're there's gamers no way. themselves. Hold there's on, hold no on. way they're going to sit there and say we're going to we get have... a, a freaking Jedi Knight 3 with freaking Frostbite engine. They don't have to call it Jedi Knight 3. Just c call it Bob's Trip Around the Galaxy. I don't care. As long as it's like that and it's a good story, it's got good combat and everything like that, I'll be happy. They can do an entirely new IP. As long as the game is good, I yes. don't care what they yes. call it. The darkness and suspense of a Dead Space game, Ooh. the engine of a dice game, and the story of a Bioware game in one Star Wars title. They're all <laughs> in <laughs> all EA Studios. Combined resources, ultimate Star Wars game. Right that there. was called Star Wars 1313. Dude, Star Wars 1313 was a suspense game. No, How am I supposed to go to a Mother's Day lunch with this raging erection? Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I could help. I have that effect uh, on me. Like, Jesus Christ, it's Mother's Day. <laughs> well, I couldn't help what happened before. Good thing right, the mother Mother's upstairs Day. is the mother of my child. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sam, every time you talk to her, cat, I didn't I'm leave, did she hate and chubby? <laughs> I'm pushing that lady where you came out as a baby. Ain't no doubt that shit is crazy.
<laughs> Lonely Island, Lonely Island. All right. Wow. So anyway, if you think about it, we've got Visceral, you know, who's behind the uh, the Dead Space games. So yeah. we could have something like a game like Terror. So they, they've they've done like Dante's Inferno, so I think they might pick up oh, the Force on oh. They might Gentlemen, pick up like, the Force oh. Hang on, okay. oh. hang on. I got it. I got it. This would be the ultimate game. Army of Two as stormtroopers. Oh my oh. god! <laughs> what, you mean reviving the Republic oh Commando god. games? I, I think he uh, just... They had one. It was called a, a Republic huge Commando. Ass direction. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Road, hit, road, hit the, road hit the nail on the head. Like, Republic Commando was that. It was... Fuck. They were very quippy. Each of the four had their own personality. It was great. I fucking loved that game. Oh my god, that game was amazing. Holy shit. I'm seriously uh, surprised that we've not seen a Republic Commando 2. It's the perfect well, formula. See, actually, now that you say that, they were actually supposed to have a Republic Commando 2 and 3, but what was supposed to happen with that story is uh, they went from being, obviously, the clone troopers that they were from being Republic Commandos, and then they were going to switch over to being the... Uh, the Imperial side, and then they were going to be hunting down the Rebels in the third game. So the, the second game was supposed to be the transition of going from Re Republic to Imperial, and the third game was supposed to be, yep. you know, the obviously the evil storm Stormtroopers. And then, and then they solved that by saying, go read this book. Yeah. Well, I think, actually, I think the, ga the game originally was based off of the books, if I remember correctly. As long yeah, as we the, don't get a Call of Duty Star Wars game, I'm uh, perfectly fine. I'm happy. Well, it, no, I, no, I, hold on. I really Actually, I, I disagree with that, and I, I disagree with that for one no, reason. No, because if you talk about that mod, that mod is just like no. playing Call of Duty with Star Wars skin. No, 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 I'm, I'm not talking about that. What, what I'm saying is, is I don't. I, I think that they should go ahead and make a game like that, but for one reason. Because all the little Call of Duty kids will buy the hell out of that game, and then they can use the funny money they get from that to pump into every other game, and we can have some good games for us. Oh, that's a good point. All right, good point. Because that's I essentially accept. that's essentially what that that other what the um, first strike was supposed to be. They were supposed to throw that on the Xbox and let everybody have fun playing with that. And See, then there you go. We were gonna get, the and then kids. and then exactly. we were gonna and then we were gonna get like a real full on like Battlefront three game, but that falls falls to the wayside. I really think that we're gonna wind up alternating between whatever they come out with out of the movies. It's basically gonna be able to sell games. Make up stuff from that, and then we'll have our new games come 2014, 2015, around well, there. Well, that's, that's the thing. Regardless of what these developers do, the, the Star Wars brand is now just going to be a cash cow. Yeah, we're, we're essentially going to have to learn a new lore all why, over. Why do you have to hate, Dan? I'm why just... Can't we, look, I, I know I would EA love... has been, have been giving it to us up the ass lately with their games, but I really... Once upon a time, EA was on a fast track to being I, something good again. I can. And unfortunately, agree. the new CEO that was recently that recently, quote unquote, resigned, but probably was thrown the fuck out. You know, um, until that guy came along, things were going great. But then when he came in, things started to go to the shit again, where all they cared about was money. And I mean, I understand that EA has to kind of cater to their their investors, but. You know they need they got to find a medium. You know that they, 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 do. they yeah. have to. And, you know, and I completely we agree. as gamers keep bitching about the fucking games that they keep putting out, and we as gamers keep buying the games because it's fucking EA. And a lot of us play EA games because they're close to our heart. Number one, like Battlefield. I've been playing Battlefield since Battlefield Two. You know, I'm not even I'm not even going to say I was an old school 1942 player, but since oh, Battlefield Two, I. Sam. Oh man. Yeah. yeah, man. I've been playing that shit since 1942, and then 1942, Vietnam, man. And Vietnam flying um, the chopper when it's dude. Here's difficult. here's how oh, here's shit. how much of a Battlefield fanboy I was. Uh, I even got on release date Battlefield 2142, and I oh, had I so high That was so good. Oh, I wanted that game to be so good, and it partially was. I love the mode. What was the mode where they had two massive battleships and Titan. motherships? Titan. 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 That's such a. Why haven't they brought that back? That's so good. That was such an awesome experience. I know, it was you very much bored, tribes. You were you would more board the other mothership and you had to fight your way through and oh my god, it was so good. Oh, yeah. So so good. And, Anybody want to play twenty one forty two tonight? Because I do. Uh, <laughs> and, and I completely agree. I, I think EA at one point was on a great track to, to create some great games. Just right this second, the Star Wars IP is 
probably just going to be a cash cow. I, I would love to see a well done game, whether it's a shooter, whether it's an RPG, whether it's a strategy game, it doesn't matter. I would love to see a well done game that's Star Wars, but we have not seen that in recent years. In a long time. Name the, you know. Yeah. Uh, I want I want a Star Wars flight sim, because that isn't that essentially like all right. If you're not on the ground, throw, cutting people up with lightsabers and shooting blasters, then you're up in space shooting blasters. I want that. Isn't a Star that. Wars flight sim just going to autopilot? It, <laughs> yeah. It's essentially it's essentially just top Top Gun. I hate you, I hate you, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think so, uh, want to continue more? I want Rogue Squadron like six. Yes. <laughs> that. It's such it's such a good topic. Like, there's so much that we could talk about. But there really is so much hate because you know, like, I used to be a Bioware fanboy. Now I hate Bioware. So. And, and see, know. I and I I argue with that mainly because your hatred is more toward a specific studio of Bioware. Rather than the no, bio, I, I didn't like yeah. I, I didn't like Mass Effect, and I, pl ah. I played an, an hour of, of uh, Dragon Age, but you know <laughs> I played up an to hour that point, Dragon Age, and it was just like fuck it. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't get through the like, intro. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I liked both Dragon see, Ages. I, I know people hate on two, I but I liked one, both Dra I Dragon Ages. I agree with Dan. I, I couldn't care. I couldn't care. I couldn't care for two because I didn't play two. I didn't but. think two was as good as the original. But I still guys, thought it was a damn good game. Do you guys see a trend here? We're all happy and lovely, and Dan's got to shit the shoot the shit down, and then we're all like, "Dragon Age 2 sucks." So like, I like Dragon Age Two. <laughs> I, think, I think Dave just doesn't have opinions. I think he's just gonna be like, "Whatever they say, I'm saying the goddamn opposite." I like my RPG. <laughs> Shove it, JJ. <laughs> 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 oh my god, Dan. Woo! Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, good job, I have, to, I have to pause good. this for a second. <laughs> That's a I, I have to uh, pause this just for a second because there is actually something I forgot to say over in relation to a previous story, but now it actually it actually works out. This is for you, Dan. Game <laughs> over, Dan. Game over. <laughs> oh, god. <laughs> uh, oh, that's fuck it. That's gotta be Dan's clip. Shove it, JJ. <laughs> uh, followed by a sound clip of JJ. We now have that uh, hasn't been revealed yet. Do you have that's it ready? Do you? Oh, you forgot. You suck. All right, I'll give it to you after, Joe. And we will talk about this because there's uh, so much to work to do. All right. So, uh, anyone else want to comment on that? Or should we move on? Um, um, we, well now. we want we want good games and we don't want shitty ones. Jedi Knight Three, like please. Games. Thank you. But well, you know we, we have we do have to curb the excitement because EA has stated that there aren't going to be any games released this year. Yep, not uh, before April of 2014, which is actually our next story. So EA not planning to ship any new Star Wars games. Blah blah blah. So on so. Okay. Yeah, story so. done. We're Boom. not going to get right. any old. We're getting all new shit. There you go. That's fun. It takes time to make a good game, and they better mm -hmm. not fail, or else they will all die. Mm -hmm. All right. Ooyah secures $15 million in funding. Bing Gordon joins the board. Why? No, Bing Gordon is. Who is that? Oh, Who yeah, that's Gordon? right. Former EA Chief Creative Officer Bing Gordon, which I feel sorry for the guy. Who would name their kid Bing, first off? First, first, first of all, Bing. he worked for... First of all, he worked for a shitty company, and then he's named after a shitty thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that guy's having like, bad Bing luck. Is so much better than Google. Uh, okay. It's Bing. Remember when TV shows like CSI were being paid by Microsoft, and so they would be like, "We can find out where he's at. Let's Bing it." Wow. I actually don't what? remember that because I think yeah. I've just completely blocked that out of my memory. Yeah, they they started to try. They tried to use. Wow, Bing. people like, watch people CSI. Really. I like it for like the hack, like the bad hacking stuff. We gotta backtrace his IP and create. And there's like, there's there was a scene where they're hacking and it's two people on the same keyboard. <laughs> yeah. I was like, wow, that's some good hacking. <laughs> there, there's a, there's a rumor in Hollywood where the writers, where the writers <laughs> damn well know that the hacking is, but they try to like make it the most ridiculous, stupid thing ever, and they try to like outdo each other. J, uh, yeah. JJ. <laughs> 
Uh, oh, I thought it was actually going to be something funny. It is. <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, awesome. Uh, All right. And that's how I got crabs for the second time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that's fun. Now it's fun. All right. Yes. That's why. <laughs> got to be used in content. Really do. Yes, it does. Penis. And that's how I got crabs for the second time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then at the end of that, we got to have. You have Dan saying. Yeah, Dan saying, shove it, JJ. <laughs> 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 Tune in next week, folks. We'll have a new sound clip for you. Oh, uh, God. All right. So there's been a lot of news that has uh, come out this last week for Watch Dogs related stuff. Uh, I only picked out one story because the other ones were a lot of kind of rumor based. So uh, the EdgeOnline.com had a story that states how Watch Dogs disrupt engine enables cross gen, cross platform play. So, they're, long story short, they're trying to make it so that you can play the game just as well on any of the current gen or next gen systems, as well as mobile devices, uh, or have some connectivity with mobile devices and tablets. Um, I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work out. I would love to hear more, but what I really want to hear is if they're going to actually have any way for people on opposing systems to play together, because god damn it, there needs to be a game right now with that kind of system. <laughs> Trying to get excited about it. That kind of system. Yes! Well, I, I think at this point in time, the games really do have to, and Watch Dogs is included in this, be cross-platform, cross-generational co compatible because you still have people that play on the PS3, play on the 360, and you will have people that are early adopters of uh, the the uh, PlayStation Next and the PlayStation or the uh, the Xbox Next, whatever they're going to be, and so you do have to have that cross compatibility. Um, I I think that's just good business practice at this point. Um, There's only one reason why this has not happened yet. Two names: Microsoft, Sony. They are the reason why it hasn't happened. The technology Wait, exists. What are, we, what are we talking about? The reason why we can't play. Lost. Cross-platform cross -platform games. So why oh. PC, PS3, and because, Xbox no, players actually, can't play actually together? Actually, it's, it's Sony's fault. It's well, Sony's at one fault. point, Microsoft also disagreed because no. they didn't want this. Microsoft did. doesn't give a shit. It's Sony because Sony says they, they can't control the Microsoft people. Like they well, no then the, Microsoft could have went ahead and made it so that PC and Xbox 360 players could play together. It's the same yeah. damn system. They well, run PC. Because, well, and you know. with the uh, with the next generation, though the the tech specs, at least, there it's all um, it's all PC based. You mean so, to tell me that I could play Battlefield Four on my TV via my Xbox? What? You just killed the entire conversation, Carl. Exactly. What you, yeah. What are you talking about? No, you're talking about cross-platform playing. Yeah. So it's like I could buy the game on my PC and I wouldn't have to worry about it because then I could turn my Xbox on and play the game through my PC. No, 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 that's that, not that what is my about. that that was what I've been saying. If if Microsoft actually come forward and do that, they will destroy Sony. That is the only because everyone because everyone has a PC already. Destroy. No. Not everyone has a. It's not the fact that everyone has a PC already. It's the it's the idea of being able to play PC games on an Xbox. Mm. Well, the architecture for the next systems is so similar at this point. Then it 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 should be, it should be. The architecture for the, but, the PC to to Xbox is. But then we're gonna have exact. But then yeah. we'll have PC purists saying that oh I don't want to play my PC game on this antiquated. I don't want to use a PC. controller. I don't want to have to use a controller. Well, that, we should the just point is, is you don't have to. Yeah. And that's the whole thing. Like, that's my theory. Like, it, like I said, if Microsoft comes out and they say, hey, you guys are, that are PC players, if you buy this Xbox, you can play PC games upstairs on your TV. That's going to sell a lot. Yeah. That will, yeah. That, that's going to put some huge balls behind that, that Xbox. Well, we'll find out when they do their press junction. Granted, they probably won't do it in the next Xbox, or it might come in with like a firmware patch or something like that. No, but it happen. might be like two or three down the road. No, I, I can't see it ever happening, to be honest. I think Microsoft wants to keep Xbox firmly on its own. Microsoft, away want, from. 
Microsoft doesn't even want the Xbox. They don't we want it. About. They, yeah, yeah, they I, never, I didn't they that never at all. wanted they never wanted the it. Xbox. They wanted to work with Sony to be, to make better games and better uh, a better system, but Sony was so stuck up about themselves during the PlayStation time, and then when the Xbox came out, they laughed at the Xbox because it was shit compared to PlayStation 2, and then Xbox 360 came out, and then they were scrambling to get the, the PS3 out. They uh, never, it's... never wanted the PlayStation. Yeah, there well, was a I, Xbox. I think that's different now. I'm pretty sure that yeah. Microsoft want the through, you know, the Xbox on its no, own because now because it's not making them money. That's the thing. They spend because Xbox develops and builds the machines themselves now. They're spending way too much money developing the game. The only but reason so does Sony going? No, Sony has somebody else building their systems for them. No, they the didn't. They did Sony, not make Sony's, any money with like the PS3. Sony, Sony, no, Sony every P, every PS3 that they made and sold, they lost money. Yeah, massive amounts of money. Like it, it wasn't yeah. a joke. Like everyone saying that the PlayStation 3 is a massive failure because of the amount that it 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 costs right. to make and the amount for it to that they're selling it at. It's just like they will never get profit. And, and the it. announcements that they have for the PS4 release is that they are actually going to be able to make money off of producing the systems themselves this time around. They yeah. don't want to fall into the same trap they did with the PlayStation 3 and how much money right. they lost back well, then. Well, Xbox, the only way that, that, that Microsoft is making money off the Xbox, off the system itself, is through its gold account. Yeah, the subscription bullshit. Right. That's the only way that they're making any money off right. of the system. And from what I understand, there, uh, there was going to be two different systems. There was going to be one system that could play games and one system that was strictly a media center. But then yeah, it which, became the media that's, center, yeah, that's which dumb. was stupid. And they also thinking of a subscription for the actual console as well. Yes, there's, there's rumors, two different yeah. systems coming out. There's one that you can pay for, you know, the $500, like the normal cost of an Xbox. And then you could pay, or you could pay uh, two ninety nine plus $10 a month. For however many months, you know, mm. to to have the to use it. I still, as as a PlayStation person, I still find the whole subscription thing to use my online access. I find that to be the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Yep, you're paying for the system, you're paying for the games, you're paying how for your internet. How many times was Sony hacked? Uh, yeah, <laughs> you mean how many times twice. Xbox was hacked? Yeah. No, I, no, no, no. I, I Not only... the system itself. How many times was Sony's system hacked? Yeah, fucking ridiculous. How uh, many times was that? Shut down. Shut down. Shut down for fucking like what was it? Two months? Three months? It was a long time. That was so bad. And then they have to give you two, three free games for it. Shitty games, by the way. And and now, how many times was the Microsoft system hacked? Never. Never. We get what we pay for. I disagree with that one. No, I, I don't. I don't like the fact that you have to pay for Xbox Live. I mean, I I think that's bullshit. Be you honest. are paying to play. You get what you pay for. That's all I'm yeah. saying. I know that you, you know. I know. You guys no, didn't pay for it. You got. But you still get hack. You do still get hacked. Like people do steal accounts and shit like that. Mm. But yeah, not, but not like, a massive, like, like a massive, like scale. a massive scale. That is usually usually those ridiculous. kind of hacks are stupid. You know, of of users being morons and going and signing into some random website with their account and not thinking about it. You know, that's when that usually happens. Or some kind of key logger on somebody's computer. Wait, so what you're suggesting is, if I... So with the PlayStation, if I, sup- I, I get a PlayStation 4, because I don't pay a subscription, I should expect to be hacked? Is that what your point is? No, my point is, is we pay for a service, and our service is, pr- is protected more than a PlayStation service where you guys are not paying for it. You know, money I don't think that was intentional, though. The service. No, I'm I'm not I'm not saying it is intentional at all. I'm just saying you get what you pay for. We paid for we pay for our accounts to be secure, to be taken care of properly, and they are. You guys aren't paying for it and Sony doesn't have as much security detail, if you will, on their system. They to be to freaking PlayStation does have like a paid for subscription, but that is like more towards Getting free games and backgrounds yeah, and stuff free like that. Games, you're getting all kinds of shit. And, and, and it's they, like, the, where's the protection? Pay the freezes me. Security costs money. Yeah. And it's like these guys are paying for it and they don't have any protection. Like you are paying for, like memory storage, because some people like myself are still stuck with the 20 gig hard drive. Yeah, I've got a 40 myself. 
So, but you know, there's nothing saying you can't just go out and buy a hard drive and slam it in. Yeah, yeah I did that. Yep. Yeah. Most people I'm I know. Not, I'm not saying I'm not saying that you know Sony's system is is shit compared to it because I mean I know people go and play games on Sony or on PlayStation just like they do on the Xbox. My point is, is you know we we pay for it. We pay our sixty dollars a year, and that goes towards you know. That goes towards added security for our, our accounts. When I have money and I decide to buy a PlayStation 4, I'll let you know. Yeah. <laughs> because that, like, the thing that I'm pissed off is that I have a fucking cavalcade of games that no one's going to play anymore, and then they'll release them on the next system, and I have to pay for the game yeah. again. Yeah. Hey, Steve. That's the thing I fucking hate. I hate that shit. What, on, on the Xbox? Xbox, Sony, well, everywhere, every oh, yeah. like everything. Like, yeah, that's... You know, you know when PlayStation Four comes out, they're gonna have a Super H HD version of you know God of War Three. Isn't that like every single Mario game that comes out now? Yeah, Mar Four play Mario sixty four on. Well, the now now Wii. if you buy if you buy Mario on their, well, if you buy any game on their uh, Wii channel, you get it. You know that game will transfer around because of their Wii channel. Oh. Yep. So, I think uh, Reddit Reddit's getting together and they're all pushing for people just creating like legit emulators. I'm all about that idea. I don't know if you guys are or not. You know my uh, opinion on that subject. I want I want so. emulator. I want an emulator for my one game, and that's it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, my my point is like they they were talking about like ZSNES or SNES and SNES 9X, you know, them being come legitimate things that you can go and buy, and then you can like you know legitimately buy ROMs. I don't understand why companies aren't doing that. Well, yeah. I mean, Makes one thing that me. I've noticed in the stories for the Wii U, for example, is uh, or in the Wii Store or whatever it is, they've been taking a lot of the old 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 games, you know, NES, SNES. And they've been shipping it into their online store, so you can play those on your Wii U. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And they, didn't they do that with the DSs as well? You can get uh, like, the possibly, old, yeah. old games. And yeah, the old Game Boys them. on them. You can yeah. play them on the 3DS yeah. and hurt your eyes. So they're already doing that. <laughs> you, know, you, you go to like the PlayStation Store, they've got a lot of the old classic PlayStation games, in, you know, original PlayStation games in there. Well, Xbox is doing the same thing. Yeah, I'm exactly. just talking about... Put it on the computer. Let me go, let me go download it and you know play it that way. I don't oh, care definitely. if it's on Wii U or something like that. Mm -hmm. You know, I Nintendo would, would make a shit. I, I think honestly, I'm going to do for the 2013. They would make a ton of money on that that shit. I mean, just, you you guys have made jokes previously about how the Ouya is just going to be you know a, a ninety nine dollar emulator. Yeah, well, yeah. That's what most people are buying it for anyway. Pretty much. And where's the problem in that, honestly? We should just call because this roaming, fucking episode wishful ROMs, thinking. If you don't own <laughs> oh, I, I'm aware. If you don't own the, the ROM itself, it, then technically it's illegal. Like, if you don't own the actual game. But I mean, it, you could you think about that's a way ROM. that they could, uh, that, you know, the people buying Ouya or Android or whoever can make a lot of money is if they do have a legitimate one, then, you know, Nintendo would be like, yeah, charge two ninety nine for this old ass game and, uh, you know, We'll take fifty percent of the profits from that, and there you go. It'd be like a gog of uh, yeah of emulators. Get it would wrong. be a gog console. Yes, I'm all for that. I got a boner again. Oh my god, Dan <laughs> didn't shit on a point. We should end the show <laughs> quick. <laughs> all right, quickly to the game releases. JJ, you know him? JJ's dead. Yes, I Come. am. I'm sorry, oh, I have my mute JJ's on dead. there for a minute. I was I already go. I was already going into it. I was like, oh, I should probably take my mute off. <laughs> yeah, he was fucking fapping it up. <laughs> yep, I was. <laughs> I have to get away. I have to get rid of this chubby somehow. Uh, all right, so maybe Tom should do these. That way, I can finish. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so we've got coming out this week: the big, the bad, the dust fifth. Five one four for the PlayStation Three. Sorry, yes. before you carry on, can I just say how annoyed this is? I am this. This isn't for the PC. I, I know, would right? so buy right this. With you. Yeah, yeah, it's terrible. Uh, Metro Last Night comes out this week. Hooray! Last Light, there, big guy. Last Light. 
last five, night. Five dollars for um, extra, extra hard mode, please. Yeah, that thing is so dumb. Bullshit. But yeah, so dumb. Uh, Manhunt is coming out for the PS3. It's just the it's a classic of the PS2. That's all. Uh, I won't even say the obvious right here, but we all know who this game is for. It's <laughs> it's tied to Destiny for the PlayStation. I can't wait for that game. Oh, you weren't talking about me. Never mind. Move on. Yeah. Ever, everyone saw that and go, well, you know what he's going to talk about. All right, Tiny Tokyo. <laughs> that game is shit. Super game is Metroid shit. for the Wii U. Anomaly 2 for the PC. Uh, before we move on with this one, I uh, actually received an email. Uh, when I purchased this game, you know, from the secret 11-bit whatever, uh, Humble Bumble, Humble Bumble, Bumble thing. There we go. Humble, um, Humble. They actually just uh, sent me an email saying that I'm getting two copies now and... They're giving me a copy of uh, Anomaly Korea, which was originally an Android game and is now coming to PC. Sweet. So, well done. Well, Sanctum done. 2 is also coming out. I didn't realize they were making a sequel to Sanctum. That was a. Uh, I like that game. It was a first I think uh, Steam was actually having a free weekend of that. Uh, is that know, last weekend or this weekend? Nice. It was just for Sanctum. And then the, the Starship Damray for the 3DS and Bad Bots for the PC. Gonna Nothing do? good coming out this week. Sorry. I don't know. Met, Metroid. Or I'm sure. Metroid. Metro Last Light. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I mean, they've got the BS DLC thing, but, you know, the game looks pretty solid. Right. Uh, nothing coming out this week. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> and then before you do your actual closing and site content, I will bring up one last thing. Our oh, buddy Dave from over there at Embers of Karis. Wanted us to bring up, they are having a call to arms. Forsaken Studios is recruiting. Uh, They're looking for uh, specific technical aspects uh, for people that they need to fill out. So, like, they're looking for web developers, flash programmers, tool chain programmers, general programmers, building and configuration managers, test engineers. They're looking for technical artists, animators, 3D riggers, environmental artists, 3D character models. They're looking for sound designers for audio teams, and they're looking for a project manager. So uh, you check out their website at embersofcaris.com. You can apply there through them. And you so can they're actually basically send... ramping up for, mm. for production. Yep. And you can actually send your CV to jobs, J-O-B-S, at forsakenstudios.com. I'll put the link to their, uh, their post in well, the show notes. Well, if they ever need a community guy, because I can't do anything else. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> I think that's kind of what everyone else is like. You Tom, need you're, going to, you're, you're in class right now for audio stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah, kind of. Oh, I'm God. always like, well, do you need somebody that'll manage your Twitter? Ha, ha, ha. I can't believe that's a real job. Oh, my God. It's a, such a cushy job. Right. I mean, totally no, it's, it's, really, it's really not. If it was a cushy <laughs> job, you guys would be, all be working for the band Hammer doing that shit. And we'd be a lot more popular than we are. How about that? <laughs> Zinger dickheads. You like that? <laughs> I do. <disagree laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice. All right. Is that it? That's it. I think we're done. All right. Uh, if you want to learn more information about... Oh, wait, no. What is this? Uh, Tier Log got... five-star review. What is this? That's a iTunes five-star review. Well, are you going to read it or are you going to just fucking... Well, you it? started reading it. I mean... All right. Tier Hog. Five, we got five-star review on iTunes. Where I go to get the latest game info. Thanks. Uh, strong hand equals Chuck Norris on Twitch. Yes, a commenter from the last episode, Stronghand, wanted to specify that Chuck Norris 1Z uh, from our last stream was, in fact, him. You know, oh, you know right. Rhodes' comment, he, he puts down what people say, it's like code, and you've got to break the code to find out yeah. what the hell the actual message is. I, it's kind of cool. Okay, <laughs> let's read this right here. Tearhog five-star review, well, and then it could say iTunes. Patience. What else are we getting a five star? I thought, I mean, I I thought, need, I thought Tear Hog that. Five was like some sort of like. I thought it was website. a restaurant. I thought it was a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't need. I don't. I don't need oh. to know that he gave me. Burgers. Snake oh, you. someone didn't turn their phone off. <laughs> Otacon, what's Snake going here. on? <laughs> I need to get a. I need to get a hack that looks like crabs. <laughs> Snake. It's a Snake. crab battle. Snarky. Raiden. I'm sorry, I ladies and gentlemen. I had to put the second desk, disc in. Sorry about that. Right, Raiden. <laughs> yeah, I know you're in the middle of battle, but I want to talk about how much I love you. Ugh. Shut up, Rose. <laughs> I got crabs for the second time. That's <laughs> it. Yeah. Crab battle. Um, all right, moving we'll along. Grenade. Next time, just throw me like iTunes. I don't need to know that it was five Whatever. star. Whatever. 
We've actually Bang. got some uh, content on the site this week. Thank um, you. What, Dan? We've actually got some content posted to the website this last week. Well, then what the fuck was it? Uh, we got a uh, a review from, I think it's I think it's Deucey from, uh, he reviewed uh, Galaxy Quest. Um, I don't even see uh, uh, no, Star Drive. Excuse me, Star Drive. He reviewed uh, Star Drive for us, um, and I threw up an article on uh, on uh, Stone. So yeah, Stonehearth. Um, oh, this is my strong hand. Yes, Stonehearth, uh, detailing some of what what their what their goals are for the the game itself, and uh, oh, they right. uh, they actually are very close to hitting their. Uh, their 300,000 uh, mark goal, uh, which nice. uh, which adds for launch a, uh, a PvP system, uh, kind of like a, a city v city thing, um, and a lot of people are looking forward to their next big goal, which is for launch a a, a co-op uh, feature. Hmm. Uh, Can I say how how cool this game looks? Uh, it does. It, it so looks so good. It looks uh, amazing. I've I've backed it personally, and it looks it's it, it it's I a game. I dropped five I'm, grand so they fly me out and I go get the. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I wish. wish. I wish. I do that every time I see one I like. Uh -huh. Um. There's also there's also a couple games I'll have to find them again. But there's a couple things like popping up on YouTube, and this game does not have a, a Kickstarter at all. But it's a um, survival game, kind of like. You know, like if zombies were chasing you, but it's with dinosaurs. And you gotta, like, hunt oh and God. build, like, uh, you get to hunt and build, like, uh, uh, forts and stuff out of the stuff that you find in the woods and wow, drop down the MMO, trees, what? build fires. It's, oh, no, it's not an MMO. It's a single, or it's a co op game. It looks amazing. I'll have to find the name of it and see if I can put it on there. Uh, Torocast, no Torocast this week. Derail Gamers coming out tomorrow. Uh, Tiso Cast Wednesday. Awesome. Yep. Tuesday. Wednesday. 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 What that movie is on Wednesday or Tuesday? It's Tuesday. New episode. Tomorrow recording. Um, I can't say yet because it might be something different than what we usually do. So, no word as to. Whether or not it basically by the time you guys see it up on Tuesday, you'll know whether or not it's new or not. So deal with it. That is the most confusing. You should I know. be a politician. You really I know. should. You um, have said nothing with everything. I said nothing with everything, and that means that I'm pretty intelligent. So deal with it. <laughs> wow. Right. Oh, is that how it works? Oh, you don't right. need to be a rocket scientist to be a politician. <laughs> Yeah, clearly. Rocket scientist, politician. All right. A little, little high on your horse there, Carl. Um, Dan, shut up! Shut up, Dan! <laughs> Go fuck yourself, Dan. <laughs> this is my uh, rebuttal. If you want to learn more information about us and uh, the other podcasts that we do, check us out, Uh We are also on Twitter, twitter.com slash... Twitter.com slash Twonkhammer, Facebook.com slash Twonkhammer, YouTube.com slash Twonkhammer, ENT. Hate, rate, and subscribe on iTunes and Stitcher, please. Thank you. Whatever. Go go do it. Thank Listen you. to uh, it. We're also, it. We know. We're also uh, record the band Hammer Live, which you, uh, thank you to those of you joining us today. Um, the band Hammer is live on Twitch, twitch.com slash, or switch, twitch.tv slash Twonkhammer. You can find us there, uh, did I miss it? Every Sunday. Every Sunday, yeah. We we generally record between 12 and 12.30. Today we were running a little late. The uh, recording machine is dying, which is not good. But, uh, oh, don't forget we're also looking for interns to come write with the site. Uh, you want to write, you want to do the Twitter stuff, you want to do uh, movies, I don't care, reviews. Opinions. That's what we look for. Twonkhammer is very heavy on our opinions. That's that's very important to us. If you can um, tell from uh, this podcast. Yes. Overly <laughs> hardcore and massive amounts of cursing. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Take leave Carl's here. Yeah. I'm sorry. I apologize. I forgot, to, I forgot to put the end song in again. Just give me a... Whoa. What? 
I forgot this. <laughs> ba, 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 da, da. I might end up cutting it out and putting it in at the end. Anyway. If I ever right. become uh, a professional wrestler, that's going to be like my entrance thing. That'd be so cool, wouldn't that? <laughs> <laughs> Here he comes, the raging chubby. <laughs> <laughs> Watch yeah. as he grows down towards the road. Yeah. To oh, hardcoreness. Yeah. You could be like uh, the road. No, uh, what the hell is his name? The Ultimate Warrior. When the sky turns blue, and the blood comes out of my veins, I will come. <laughs> uh, really? Yeah. Yeah. And remember how Why it was not? in the eighties? Eighties uh, and nineties is bad for wrestling. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, so wrestling. All right. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> There you go. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? All right. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up. Ladies and gentlemen, have yourself an awesome, safe week. This has been the Band Hammer for Twonk Hammer Entertainment. We will talk to you guys all next week. Peace out. Have a great week, guys. Bye. Ta ta. I need pancakes. I want some pancakes. Want pancakes. 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 You always pancakes. want pancakes, right? Hell yeah. Yeah. Done. Five. <laughs> I gotta get this shit done, so I'll see you later, folks. Later, later man. All right, yeah, I gotta go do uh, Mother's Day stuff. I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye. For some reason, I'm really in the mood to play SimCity now that Carl sent us. <laughs> and I got my girlfriend Sim to play SimCity for two days, and yeah. she was freaking completely frustrated. She's like, I fucking hate this. You said this game was calm, and no, I was like, well, there you go. Suck on that, bitch. <laughs> you want a game for her that's right. uh, I'll pretty I'll be right back now. in a few minutes. I don't, don't right. go anywhere. I'll be back. Right. She was dying.